Hello again and welcome to today's episode of my Makai Kingdom series. Uh, this is the ninth installment. It's uh, definitely heating up. Let's jump back into it. So we're four hour, about four hours and 15 minutes in, something like that. 4.25 hours, if you want to be mathematical. Um, so last episode, we got our hands on a diver and we've got big plans for it. Um, but uh, we got one, but we want two. So the first thing we're going to do, uh, jumping right into it, is um, we're going to get our hands on another diver. But we're not going to do it by farming uh, that other free dungeon. I've decided I don't want to do it that way. What we're going to do instead is uh, quickly uh, grab a diver from, uh, what do you call it, Happy Dungeon. We're going to grab one from Happy Dungeon 3. Uh, so first what I'm going to do is just kind of load up some thieves into these vehicles. You'll see why uh, soon enough. Three each is enough. Wait. Three each is enough. There we go. And we're going to put both of those vehicles in a facility. Let's do this level 21 hut. That's fine. Where's my vehicles? That's these two, right? Yeah, you and you. Okay. And then we're going to equip our, uh, yeah, we're going to equip our Swordmaster here with a sword, of all things. Imagine that, Swordmaster using a sword. Weird. Um, let's see. I want to put that, uh, yeah, I want to put that prisoner chain back on just in case I forget to re-equip it later. Uh, and our... Facilities. Our swordmaster is going to go in the castle. Okay, let's go knock out Happy Dungeon three. So Happy Dungeons are kind of weird. Uh, there are always three of them: one, two, and three. Uh, if you look over at the right, you'll see that the uh, the level of the enemies in these dungeons gets progressively higher. Uh, five, fifteen, thirty. Um, we're going to be doing the third one and only the third one. Also, I, pr I I wish that I had mentioned this at some point early on in this uh, in this series and this guide, but you want to save all three of these until uh, a specific point. Um, so right now, well, I, I, the biggest one, it's mostly one and two. Three, it doesn't really matter when you do it as long as you can grab the items that are there, uh, like we're about to do. Uh, but the other the other two. You want to, uh, there, there's specific things you want to accomplish here, especially in one. So you want to save them until the right time. Uh, but the right time for three is now. Here, look, here we go. So the first thing we're going to do is just invite our hut. And uh, we're going to use our tanks, our, our vehicles, to just kind of roll over here. where we can grab these items. We'll go back. I can uh, I can demonstrate something here too. Uh, come on. And I do, uh, we're grabbing everything here. You don't necessarily need to, but I like to. It's kind of just a completionist thing. The important things are definitely the uh, the diver, the ginsey, and uh, maybe the, um, we picked it up, the orb. Uh, let's see, item. Not a, oh, well, of course not. Yeah, that's fine. Let's see, the status. Yeah, we can't look at them. That's okay. Uh, orbs are a class of item that give you bonuses to SP and um, res. Uh, and it's going to come in handy later, so we went ahead and picked it up. Um, so I want to show you something neat about vehicles. You'll see that our population right now is four. Uh, that's because we've got two vehicles out, and uh, each of them is currently piloted. 
but uh, let me show you something. If you go here to item, you can move one of your characters into one of the passenger seats. Our, you see our population goes down to three. We do the same thing over here. Uh, it goes down to two. Um, vehicles, every vehicle counts uh, as one to your population total. And then the driver, if someone is in the driver's seat, they also count as one. If they're in a passenger seat, they do not count against your population. Uh, that's um, potentially useful to know. Uh, so there you go. Um, so now all we're going to do, we should have a thief around here somewhere. I think that, yeah. Also, I'm feeling a weird kind of like foreboding right now because I swear that in the last episode we had like a driller. But uh, I, don't, I don't see it and I don't know where it went. Maybe I've got it in some other facility somewhere. Uh, I, I don't remember seeing it even. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, let's keep going. Invite. Yeah, castle. This is close enough. So since we've got this um, Swordmaster, she's got more than enough power to just absolutely wipe these guys out. That's all we're going to do. We've grabbed all the items. Uh, so all that's left here is to do this. got all those items great yeah so now we've got our hands on our second diver that's great uh, let me look at yeah that's really I'm feeling a really weird like nervous sense of I, I swear maybe it was in a bad take that I got that driller it must have it must have been a, yeah it must have been in my bad take because I definitely let's see sort by type manually I definitely have two divers the do I have a syringe that'll be what that's the clincher because I definitely remember picking up a syringe when we did that free dungeon last episode there it is okay all right yeah I must have the driller must have been during that bad take I did that's fine uh just ignore that <laughs> it was a bad take I deleted it I'm gonna pretend it didn't happen so we've got our hands on our second diver uh so now what we're gonna do Let's summon Craw. I explained in the last episode, what we're going to be doing this episode is having our um, Swordmaster here, our level 61 character, wish for a free dungeon. So here we go. New dungeon. It only costs 1152. We've got, uh, we've actually got enough for two. We, we don't need to do that, though. Uh, could if we wanted but uh, we, we don't have the divers to do it the second time, and there's, 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 not, there's not really a need to do it the second time either. We'll, we'll try to get it right the first time. So uh, here we go. All right. So we're definitely going to, uh, we're going to be doing this free dungeon. Uh, before we do it, uh, let me sort my characters a little bit yeah, manually. So you can stay there. You can, I don't really need you there. Now, the reason I'm going to sort my characters like this is because I want, um, I'm going to be loading a bunch of characters into the academies that we wished for. Because um, uh, we're going to be abusing the high uh, amount of experience that we're going to find on floor 61 uh, in the bonus list. We're going to be exploiting that in order to uh, level up a bunch of classes uh, really, really quickly. Um, but before we can do that, we need to make them. Uh, we need we need to make a bunch of characters. So we're just going to buy a lot of daggers here. Here we go. And let's just, uh, yeah, I'm not going to sort anymore. I'm just going to start stuffing them into the facilities. So let's see, equip, arrange, arrange facilities. Yep. All right. So uh, the first thing that you're going to want to level this way, uh, now this is important. Uh, you're going to want to pay attention to this. There are specific classes that you, that you want to level in order to um, in order to progress uh, the first thing you want let's see this is five is between five and seven healers I guess I'll go for seven um, the big reason for this is that we want to unlock the spell Braveheart and uh, five is enough for uh, uh, for Braveheart combos uh, I don't you may or may not know what a Braveheart combo is but uh, I'll just give a really brief explanation here. Braveheart is a spell. It's a buff spell. And when you uh, cast it on one of your characters, their attack is increased by 20%. It stacks up to five times. So you don't really need 
more than five technically, but we're going to go with seven just because we've been using these seven healers this whole time. Why not? Let's 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 keep it uh, keep it. Uh, don't don't mess with a good thing. Uh, you are also going to want to level a witch. Um, there you go. Okay. Uh, now it is absolutely essential that you also level uh, the following three classes. You want a magician, a thief and a medic. I don't have a medic, so let's make one right now. And we've done this before. Uh, all you, you can make these characters out of just the absolute cheapest items that you can get from the shop. Uh, we are only leveling them up to unlock classes. Uh, their stats do not matter. So let's not uh, waste any time trying to look for a good item or spend their bonus points or anything like that. None of that matters. We are just going to do this in a very utilitarian way. So let's see. There we go. And where's my medic? What was his name? Geronimo. <laughs> so these three characters, the reason we're uh, going to definitely include these three classes is, is because these are the prerequisites of chef. And unlocking chef, the chef class, is extremely important. Extremely important. A lot of our progress hinges on uh, having access to chef and uh, having access to food markets. Chefs are the only class that can wish for food markets. So definitely we want these three classes. Uh, so we also are going to want, um, let's start summoning more of these daggers. There's a bunch of other classes we want to. Oh yeah. Um, we also want a few merchants. So I'm going to make three for starters. We've already got one. We'll do a total of four. So three extra. And we're going to load these up into an academy. One more slot left in that one. All right, we'll do. Uh, so I'm also going to do a mimic. Uh, him, I'm kind of just throwing in because uh, at level 20, mimic unlocks the. Um, I think it's what's it called? Heaven's Bliss class. They're the enemies that kind of look like owls, uh, and you kind of might as might as well. Buy some more daggers. We're going to unlock a couple more classes. Oh, yeah. I think this, uh, yeah, this should be enough, I think. All right, so. I think I might have mentioned it very, very early on. We unlocked these classes in um, World uh, 2-1, but Cat Kid here and Bomb Guy here are the two prerequisites for Vampire. Uh, and we definitely want to unlock that ASAP, so we're going to make one of each. Cat Kid. All right. Uh, let's see, next, okay, Gardener and uh, Golem are the prerequisites for Guardian. We want to unlock those two, so we make one of each. Where's Golem? There you are. And then finally, we're going to make a Professor. We don't have one at all yet. Uh, we want one to get a few levels because I think they need to be level 20 in order to unlock, which class was it? Whipmaster? Yeah, I want to say it's Whipmaster. All right, so let's see, equip, arrange, arrange facilities. So this academy is full, this one, okay. So there's our bomb, cat kid, gardener, golem, 
professor and we want to chuck in our the game gives you uh, an engineer so you'll find one here even if you haven't made one this one's ours they give it to you at the beginning of uh, which chapter is it chapter four yeah, because three six has the first vehicle you ever see in it. That's right. Okay, at the beginning of chapter four, we got this. Okay, so uh, that is um, everything that we really need. Uh, you could throw some other stuff in there if you wanted to. In fact, I'm debating throwing in some thieves. I think I might do that. Some some extra thieves, and they're right here. Yeah, we might as well. Okay, so now we've got these three facilities all loaded up with characters ripe for leveling. Uh, all we need to do now, uh, well, first let's do this. Arrange facilities. Yeah, we're going to take our Swordmaster out of the castle. Those guys stay in there. Yeah, we'll take these vehicles out of the hut, I guess. And we'll even, you know, we'll even do that. And uh, I can't really think of anything else that we need to do before we... Oh, no, I can think of something extremely important. Um, you want somebody... Let's see, sort manually. Big John is yeah in the academy. Whoever is, everybody's in the academy. Carrot. Carrot's the first guy who's not in the academy. We'll just replace him with, all right. And he, our carrot here, is going to get both of those divers. I said, oh yeah, there we go, okay both of those divers there's one there's the other and uh we're, we're not going to use this because it is floor 61 and once we clear it we're going to be out of there but just just out of force just to reinforce habit uh i'm going to equip it it's kind of one of those like treat every gun like a loaded gun things <laughs> we're, we're, we're gonna do that we know the gun's not loaded but we're gonna treat it like it's loaded um I hope that makes sense. Okay, so we're going to save. Definitely going to save here, 100%. Uh, and we'll we'll save here. I don't think this is going to... I don't think there's any chance this becomes a bad take, but just in case it does. All right, so all that's left now is to uh, head into that free dungeon. You definitely 100% want to save before you do this. 100%. Here we go. Uh, free dungeons, and this is the one, the level 61 dungeon. Let's go. All right, now, this floor does not matter. Don't even look at it. Um, what you want to do is just immediately invite whoever's got your diver and have them use it. Do you want to skip this floor? Yes. So you can see here that we are now on floor 31 of 61. Uh, let's take a little peek here at what the bonus list looks like. Look at those totals. 24,000, 30,000 experience. Uh, we're starting to see higher tier items like uh, sp Spirit Grass and stuff like that. The enemies are <laughs> level 144. Now our highest, uh, we're only, we've only used one of our divers so far, and the enemies are already three times as high as our highest level character. Let's keep going, though. No need to be scared. We saved. We know what we're doing. We're going off-road, but this is exactly what we want. Okay, so let's see. Now, uh, what we are looking for is a Floor 61 that has uh, no invite restrictions. Uh, so this, this one seems to not have any invite. Yeah, none, unlimited, no invite restrictions. So that's what we want. And what we want is something that has... Um, last crisis. We want something that has a couple of low-hanging, easily... Uh, uh, what would you call it? Uh, Low-hanging, easy-to-earn um, experience awards. Uh, this one, let's see, 300. That has 300. Now, this is a 600-point floor. Most of the points are concentrated in this guy. And uh, this is one of those weird floors where it's, it's only 600 and there's only one. Yeah, there aren't any extensions at all. I am going to provincially do this, uh, and we'll see how many levels we get from that uh, 300 experience. And if it's not enough, we'll reset. Um, this is our. F Ordinarily, I save scum this a few times until I find a bonus list that has like two or three experience awards in it. But 90,000, I don't know, 90,000 might be enough. We'll see. Uh, this won't add much time. 
So we're going to invite, let's see, do any of these, are there any of these that aren't completely full? We'll invite the one that has thieves in it. Which one has the thieves in it? Sorry, brain kind of farting right now, this one. Okay, so. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. Oh, man. I'm thinking. <laughs> this, uh. I really don't want to mess up this take. I'm trying to think of everything. Uh, so what I think. I think I'm going to do is invite the facility that has a bunch of healers in it over here, have them queue up a combo on the book, and then invite the final academy on top of this item uh, to earn us the points and clear the stage. I think that's the way to do this. So let's see. Let's invite uh, yeah, this academy, since it has our healers in it. And we'll have all of them come out and uh, we'll queue up a combo on Zeta here. I don't know why I'm bothering. All right. It's five. Now, wouldn't it be cool if we get this uh, if this is enough and we don't we don't have to save scum at all that, that would be cool and then yeah we'll have our little witch come out and uh, armor break why not and then all we have to do I probably should have made sure that this is in a position yeah okay so I can actually do this and now that we've got our eight part combo all queued up, all we have to do is drop this facility. 490 points, there we go, that's adequate. So we're not gonna get the chaos bullet, who cares? We're gonna get 450,000 hell, that's gonna take care of our money problems for the time being. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, let's see how we do. Clear stage. And the beauty about being on uh, floor 61 is that we don't have to use a diver to get out of that dungeon. Uh, we, we finished it. Uh, so let's take a look at what kind of levels we gained. Uh, kind of modest, uh, level 35. That's not amazing, but you know what? That's I think that's good enough. Let me think for a second. Yeah, that's perfectly adequate. That's absolutely fine. Um, that's really good. Uh, yeah, I'm going to, I think I'm going to go ahead and save. Let me just think for a second before I, let's see, 35 plus 35 plus 35 is 100 and, 105, right? That's plenty. Okay, we're going to save. Now, yeah, we'll save over the new one. All right, so that was great. So, um, now... You're not always going to get what you're looking for on the first try like that. That's why you save beforehand, so you can save scum it until you find a suitable floor. Um, but you saw there, I mean, you really only need one experience award in order to achieve what you're trying to achieve here. You want to get all of these classes to, at the very least, like the mid to late 20s. Uh, 35 is good enough. And let's just take a really quick look at what we've unlocked here. Uh, so for starters, uh, our healers are all... Yeah, there it is. All of our healers know Braveheart now. That's great. Um, and as far as, oh yeah, let's look at the shop. So we've got some interesting items available at the shop now. They're uh, they're up now to the level of like, look at that, 270,000 for this fairy list. Um, it's n we haven't unlocked everything, of course. It's going to take a little bit more legwork to, to fully unlock everything that's available in shops. But this is a good start. This is cool. Um, earlier, the best ball and chain that we had access to was the prisoner chain right here. And now that we've leveled up a couple of merchants, we've got access to the heart crusher, 
actually, you know what? The Heart Crusher, I think, was already available, but now we've got access to this. That's what it was, yeah. The Heart Crusher was unlocked, but we couldn't afford it, so we bought the Prisoner Chain. But now this uh, Giga Crusher is unlocked, too. So, yeah, so we've made a little bit more progress in the shop. Uh, I think that in order to unlock any more than this, you have to uh, level a, what do you call it, uh, a professor up to, like, level 300-something. But there's going to be plenty of time for that later. We're not going to worry about that. Let's look at um, classes. So, yeah, that's a dagger. Create a character. So let's look at what we've unlocked here. There's Guardian. Uh, we unlocked that by getting Tyndall and Gardner to 20. That's great. Uh, Gobbler was already available. There's Vampire. I uh, That was Cat Kid, the Cat Kid and the Bomb that we made. Uh, let's see, what else did we just unlock? There's Archer. Uh, that's a little bit of a big deal. Um, it's good that we unlocked that. That's a good opportunity to do it. Uh, and here is Chef. That is hands down the most important thing that we just unlocked, and we did it instantly. We didn't have to spend hours grinding. We saved a lot of time by just uh, investing a couple of divers and a little bit of mana into making that free dungeon. And in just a little bit of time, uh, wham, bam, just done. Chef unlocked. And we're less than five hours in. <laughs> and we haven't been going at like a breakneck pace either, because I've been explaining a lot of stuff as we go. Uh, let's see, what else have we got unlocked? We also unlocked uh, some of the uh, tiers of, you see, all these classes. We've kind of unlocked some later tiers on them, uh, which is very cool too. Uh, what else? Yeah, that's it. Uh, but that's great. We are going to start putting all of this shiny new stuff to use uh, starting in the next video. Uh, we are picking up speed. We are, uh, believe it or not, we are very close to achieving uh, what I call really being in um, the, the, the post game, the end game. Uh, we, we might be getting close to the end of this series. I don't know how far I'm going to take it, but uh, definitely uh, tune in next time. We're going to do some really cool stuff. And um, yeah, so uh, I'll see you there. Later.